Hey now, so this is part two of the Doc Holiday rig. If you haven't seen part one, I'll put a link to it here. This is the shoulder holster, or at least my interpretation of it anyways. As mentioned in part one, I'm going off photos of the movie props, and whereas construction of the belt holster was a little bit more straightforward, this shoulder rig I had to take a little bit more artistic license on, but I'll note where I'm doing that in the run of the video. But first, another segment of viewer show and tell. Subscriber Patrick came across my channel, and in particular from my Johnny Ringo video, picked up some tips and tricks on putting together this holster and belt rig. Very cool. Again, uh, any subscribers who want to send me pics of something they've made after watching my channel, send it to me and I'll try to include that in future videos. So from photos of the prop, at least to me, I can make out that this inside tooling was just sort of a generic camouflage stamp. But I can't quite make out what this stamp is, other than kind of a scrolly pattern. You can get caught into a deep rabbit hole trying to match one particular stamp, particularly on leather work that's been made a long time ago. 
but I found these stamps at my local Tandy and just made a compound impression out of them that I think comes close. Again, this is something else I can't quite make out from the photos, but there is something here on the shoulder strap. This is just me filling in some gaps. If anyone ever comes across some actual photos of close-ups of this rig, I'd love to see how wrong I got all this. The shoulder strap looks like it has some sort of zigzag tooling on it, but I don't have a stamp that even comes close to this, so I took an old craft tool that I never used and repurposed it.
I had planned on using vinegar black on this rig, like I've used in some of my other videos. But sometimes you get a hide that just doesn't take the vinegar on. I knew as soon as I dipped it in, this was going to be one of those pieces of leather. All I can do is let it sit and see if the color develops. So even after oiling, the leather isn't black, it's still kind of this gray color. So I'm just going to hit it with some Feedings Cordovan, which is just a really dark brown. The rig will still be black, but it'll be a warmer tone.
more guesswork here. I don't have photos of the back side of the holster, but in a couple of the photos I can just make out a little loop back there. I'm presuming these are attachment points, so this is how I'm doing these. At this point, I took a quick test fit and realized that I had way overestimated the length on this shoulder strap. All I can do at this point is trim it down and kind of finish off the edges and try to dress it up a little bit. I hate it when that happens. Second test fit and it feels off. The holster sits flatter than it should and feels a little front heavy. Looking back more closely at the movie prop, I noticed something I disregarded when I first began. The holster has a slot cut for a strap at the top front, but the shoulder strap doesn't actually go through this slot in the photos. It disappears lower and a little more forward to what is presumably a different attachment point. Had I also discovered what the original makers had found out, So moving that attachment point just that little bit helps change the balance of the holster. I'm not sure if I'm a fan of this particular style of shoulder holster simply because I don't like the way the strap goes across the front. But I might tweak the design a little bit and it would definitely make a good project for a future video.